There are different options available for controlling and configuring the LE Charger 2 via smartphone. The LE Charging app bundles all charging functions, from direct charging, known as basic charging, to intelligent smart charging functions. Customers who already use one of the Volkswagen, Skoda, or Cupra brand apps can configure and operate the smart charging functions of the LE Charger 2 via the LE Smart Charging app. We recommend downloading it as an add-on to the respective brand app in the App Store. Use the access data of your brand app to log into the Smart Charging app, pair the wall box, or configure its basic settings. Cust customers who use the LE Charging app must first create an account if they do not already have one. To do this, tap on Register Now or Sign In if you already have an account. Enter your email address and a password. Accept the terms of use and privacy policy and click on Create Account. Complete the account details. To pair the charger with the app, the charger must be connected to the internet and the OCPP connection must be enabled. Tap on Home and then on Pair Charger. Select LE Charger 2 in the overview. A QR code scanner opens. Use it to scan the QR code on the access data card supplied with the wall box. Alternatively, enter the connection code manually. Assign a name for the LE Charger 2. By default, the LE Charger 2 will charge when the charging cable is plugged in without further authorization. If an RFID card is to be linked to the wall box, select the Private Charging option. Select Add a new card and enter the card number if prompted or scan the QR code on the back of the card. The charging processes can now be authorized by RFID card. In the next step of the pairing dialog, you can set up the wall box to automatically update the software. This will always keep the wall box up to date. Alternatively, software updates can be initiated manually. Other functions of the LA Charger can be accessed from the home screen. This includes extensive information about the charging history and the ability to analyze charging behavior in detail. The list can also be exported as a PDF. If the LE Charger does not work as desired, it can be restarted through the LE Charging app. The LE Charger 2 offers three advanced smart charging functions that can be configured using the LE Charging app or the Smart Charging app. Solar Forecast Charging, Solar Surplus Charging, and price optimized charging. Vehicle data allows for optimal performance in all these functions. For them to be available, the vehicle must be connected to the LE Charging app or the LE Smart Charging app. You must also consent to the use of the data. Select the appropriate vehicle and select the charge profile to edit for the LE Charger. The Smart Charging feature Solar Forecast Charging automatically starts charging when the most solar energy is available. To set up, tap Features on the home screen, then select Solar Forecast Charging. To set up a solar forecast charging, you need to enter the location of your solar array and technical details such as the maximum power, orientation, and angle of the solar panels. This will ensure the most accurate prediction. To calculate the estimated savings from solar forecast charging, enter also the feed-in tariff. You can now enter a threshold for the energy production of the photovoltaic system at which the charging process will start. The default is 10% of maximum capacity. Tap on Save. LE chargers connected to an external Modbus electricity meter can be set to charge only when the solar panels produce more energy than the household consumes. Tap on Solar Surplus Charging on the home screen to set up the function. If no Modbus electricity meter is connected or installed, this will be displayed in the next step. The connection can be carried out by a certified electrician as part of the hardware setup. If a corresponding electricity meter is connected, the status Ready is displayed. 
If you activate the surplus function, the charging process starts as soon as the PV system produces a surplus of at least 1.4 kilowatts. If the surplus plus grid option is selected, the charging process starts immediately. The charger offers 1.4 kilowatts of charging power, even if the surplus is lower. The LE Charger 2 features dynamic phase switching to optimize the yield of solar energy. If the available solar surplus falls below 4.2 kilowatts, the charger automatically switches from three-phase to single-phase charging after a one-minute charging pause. This reduces the charging power. This means that charging is possible even with a small surplus. In Volkswagen Group vehicles that charge according to the ISO 15118 standard, the switch occurs without a charging pause. This further reduces the required surplus. The solar forecast charging and solar surplus charging functions can be combined for optimal utilization of the PV system. The LE Charger 2 can be configured to charge when electricity is cheapest. A smart meter and a dynamic energy tariff are required to use this function. From the home screen, tap Price Optimized Charging. You will see an outline of the requirements for this feature. In the next step, select the existing dynamic energy tariff. If the tariff in question is a Volkswagen Naturstrom Flex tariff, enter the customer and contract data. Otherwise, select Use Other Provider and add the location of the charger. This will generate local electricity price data. If you have not already done so, the app will offer to connect the app to the vehicle at this point. This ensures the optimal functionality of price-optimized charging. In the next step, confirm that the LE charger is allowed to change certain vehicle settings. A message indicates successful setup. Non-VW, Škoda or Cupra vehicles cannot provide vehicle data for price-optimized charging. This limits the effectiveness of the smart charging features, but they still work. In the menu, select your vehicle app, tap Other. Within Savings mode, you can choose between three different charging strategies. In Flexible, the vehicle is charged for around five to six hours throughout the day. Phases with particularly high energy prices are avoided. The Save mode limits the charging time to around four to five hours a day and thus avoids high price phases. In Save Plus, charging only takes place at times when the electricity price is low. The charging time per day is around one to two hours. When the desired mode is selected, click Set Optimization Mode. A message will remind you that no charging times must be entered on the vehicle side. The infotainment system must be set to instant charging to avoid conflicts. Tap on Done and the configuration is complete.